I, I imagine that the community that you live in, uh, the, the Indian community, is, is it the rich one in terms of ideas for comedy? Uh, yeah, it always is, yeah. There's kind of, it's strange where, where you, uh, most of my ideas, I mean, on goodness gracious me and, and for the Kumars, just come from real life, really. Well, apart from skip into the Punjabi kangaroo, obviously. Yes. Um, <laughs> they come from... <laughs> they come from... Real, uh, you, they, 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 they do come from real life. And there's this really... I, mean, I remember, f for instance, once... I, I don't know how I'm ever going to work this into a script, but uh, this, is, uh, this is absolutely true. Um, I went to a funeral, and there was a guy that, that we'd known as a family for a, for a long time. And... He had some kind of uh, incurable disease, and it, towards the end of his life, they'd used a lot of experimental drugs on him, and, uh, and experimental surgery, etc. And he finally passed away, and, and all the men folk were in one room, and all the, the women folk were, were in the other room, and everyone was just quiet and sort of sitting there. And in this kind of silence, uh, one of the old uncles who was there said, "You know, it was a very tragic life, and in the end, he just became a hamster." <laughs> And I kind of did that thing of looking around. Did anyone else hear this? <laughs> and someone else kind of went, hamster. And I, I couldn't help it, so I kind of leant across and I said, the, 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 the term you're looking for is that he was used as a guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> didn't become that. And he said, no, it is hamster. And, uh, somebody else on the other side of the room said, I think he's right, you know? He became a guinea pig. And I said, no, he didn't become one. <laughs> the term is he was used... And this big argument started up. And the hamster guy, hamster man, then kind of got up and pointed at guinea pig man and said, you don't tell me nothing. Right? When I first came to this country, you didn't help me one little bit. You, had, you lived a big house. You had a nice Vauxhall Victor car. Right? And nothing. And so this big argument. So I was thinking... What have I started? <laughs> this old guy finally kind of said, he was sitting on one side and he said, no, no, you, don't forget, he was a wonderful man. He was a great man. And everyone sort of calmed down. And somebody said, and he became a guinea pig. That's <laughs> 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 okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so the worst yeah. part of it, the worst part of it was yeah. I left the room laughing into this anteroom full of women crying <laughs> and just became look at him he's become so english because <laughs> naturally all english people laugh at funerals it, it must be fascinating to see the difference between your generation and your your mom and dad's because you know they came here it was petition wasn't it they left in in, yeah. in, in the the worst possible circumstances mm. came to a country that a lot of people didn't accept them, and they went through, they took all that, the brunt of it, didn't they? Do you, do you know one of the kind of weirdest things about that was uh, that they went through partition, which was this huge upheaval, um, and went from kind of having, you know, a, a home and a life and a history to having to restart completely, and then coming to a country which they didn't know, etc., etc. And I, it suddenly struck me, because I thought, you know, as you grow up, and I think for all of us, really, our parents are the people who kind of say, you can't do that. No, you can't go out. And I suddenly thought... These are not just the people who say you can't do that. These people had that upheaval and left with kind of bullets ringing in their ears and sort of their houses being mm. set on fire. And suddenly I saw them in a slightly different light, mm. which is why, you know, uh, in respect of that, I decided to take the piss out of them in a second. <laughs> <laughs> None of a son of a comic. <laughs> Uh, it's like, but it's, but my sister kind of like, sorry, sorry. No, uh, God, no it is your show. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a much more forward since you've got your own talk show, much more <laughs> aggressive, yes. But, but continue, please. No, it's, just, it's uh, about a month, a month or so ago, they had this kind of list in, in the, I think it was the Sunday Express, of the top 300 most influential people. Yes. And I was at 277. Yeah. Oh, you're dating, you? Yeah, still have to catch the bus. <laughs> uh, but my, my parents are in India, and my sister... Um, rang them to tell them this and she said you got my mum uh, on the phone and, my, and she said oh look you know uh, Sanjeev was 277th in this list and my mum said oh that's really funny that's great I'll tell everyone and my dad came on the line and she said dad you know he was 277th on this list and my dad said you know never mind better than nothing no <laughs> save money because this is the important I keep telling you save money it was just possible. <laughs>